joy and bliss to you. Thanks for joining me here on the channel. We're studying the lessons of A Course in Miracles, and today we're on lesson number 323. And I love that Jesus put some air quotes in here because I love to do that. So I'll get to act it out today based on his actual teachings in the book here. So the title of our lesson today is I Gladly Make the Sacrifice of Fear. And we're going to start with the prayer. Here is the only sacrifice you ask of your beloved son. You ask him to give up all suffering, all sense of loss and sadness, all anxiety and doubt, and freely let your love come streaming into his awareness, healing him of pain, and giving him your own eternal joy. Such is the sacrifice you ask of me, and one I gladly make, the only cost of restoration of your memory to me, for the salvation of the world. Amen. And as we pay the debt we owe to truth, a debt that merely is the letting go of false, the letting go of self-deceptions and of images we worshiped falsely, truth remains to us in wholeness and in joy. We are deceived no longer. Love has now returned to our awareness and we are at peace once again, for fear has gone and only love remains. Well, hallelujah to that. So when we go back up into the prayer section, I, I love it. It's kind of, it's almost like a little bit of humor where he starts off. Of course, he uses air quotes on the word sacrifice. And then the sacrifices we're making is giving up suffering. Ha ha ha. <laughs> giving up all sense of loss and sadness. Giving up all anxiety and doubt. In order to have our pain healed by God. And this, you know, we are, a lot of us have past experiences that are, there, there's just these wounds that exist in our consciousness and the effects of those wounds activate in our lives when we're dealing with people, places, and things, situations that are unexpected and all of a sudden we're, we're re-experiencing a feeling that has nothing to do with the present moment situation. And that is all just pain that we are carrying. And that's what this course is helping us heal. And I believe that you, because we're doing the lessons in this manner, we're doing daily lessons, you don't have to go back and look for particular traumas or identify that particular hurt the first time it happened in order to heal from it. I think what this course is doing is slowly reorienting us toward love and more and more listening to the Holy Spirit's thought system and being able to identify the ego's thought system when it comes up and have a choice to say yes or no to the ego's idea about how we should handle things or how we should, how our perception about situations should be. And we're moving toward this awareness that love's presence has always been there and we have to be responsible and accountable. We have chosen to look in other places for love and we have chosen to mistake experiences in our past as defining in our lives. And so, you know, this idea of sacrificing fear is so beautiful. It's brilliant. Yes, I will gladly sacrifice fear as as the lesson says you what you're asking of me i will gladly make this sacrifice god because it's the only cost of restoring god's memory to me for the salvation of the world so again when when it talks about salvation of the world i like to think of that as my mind is healed and then i see a forgiven world like my life experience becomes more joyful more blissful more happy and fun because I'm not carrying all of these past hurts and, and projecting them into my present moment and destroying any chance that I might have of happiness in the moment, in the simplicity of the moment, in the mundane of the moment. It can be absolutely filled with joy if I choose to sacrifice all my suffering, which is a choice, sacrifice all my sense of loss and sadness, which is a choice. Sacrifice all anxiety and doubt. I mean, I don't know how many people are on medications for some of these things. Think of it. 
we we are living in this world right now. If you choose to believe that we're all incarnated and this is real for a moment with me, we're living in this world right now where there is a worshiping of the diseases and the the pathology and we are given diagnoses of certain ailments and then and then you that becomes your identity and so rather than turning to god and the holy spirit to help you heal your pain you're turning to a medical system and you're turning to a pill and that you're basically being told you have this condition forever well i am here to tell you that miracles are real and nothing that you've been diagnosed with is a life-defining experience. And um, there's ways that you can use your spiritual practice to find peace around whatever you're told is wrong with you. And I believe that the, the deeper that you fall in love with yourself, the more opportunities will spring up in your mind to uh, have a different perception of what might be weighing you down, whether it's emotionally or physically or spiritually. Your practice is going to guide you toward healing and expect miracles. I believe if we expect miracles and turn away from what the world says about us, that we're going to just get closer and closer to this, you know, remembering God and remembering who we truly are and experiencing a life of, of peace and joy and excitement and happiness and that that's just where we're headed you know the more that we really internalize and then embody these lessons it's going to show us we're, we're going to be shown in the world that we see that we are safe we are healed we are loved and we are meant to be here for a beautiful purpose which is the salvation of the world which is the healing of our mind and it's all, it's all a wonderful adventure. So thanks for joining me here today. Hopefully this helps you think about some things and um, consider where you may be a little bit stuck in something that the world tells you about yourself and that you free yourself today or you begin opening up your, your prison cell and starting to consider like walking out and venturing out into the world as a healed soul. Love you all so much. And I'll see you back here again on the next video.